we're just scratching the surface as far as the technology is concerned. It's continually developing, changing, and they're continually trying to improve the aircraft. You build a familiarity with one type and then the new type rolls in. So being flexible and being adaptable to that unique operating world when you are thrown different types of situations is definitely a necessity. The more pilot stuff that you know, the better sensor operator you'll become. At first, it's not expected of you to know a lot of pilot things. You are expected to know all the sensor operator stuff. As you get more experience and more comfortable being a sensor operator, then you could look over and ask your pilot, hey, when you do this with the aircraft, what does it do? Your training, especially your initial qualification training and your mission qualification training at your operational unit, they'll teach you the basics of kind of just, hey, these are the things that the pilots are trying to do while you're doing your thing over there. But they're only gonna teach you the basics, they're not gonna teach you how they're doing it or even why they're doing it. It's highly suggested that you do so to learn as much as you can. So the training that we get exposes you to it, but at some point you're gonna have to learn how to reach out and ask for help when you need it. It's gonna have an effect on you mentally. You have to be able to compartmentalize that stuff and find a way to deal with combat stress. The family life impact can be pretty high if you have a spouse and or children. They have to understand what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it. So you can't just say, I'm sorry, I have to work this weekend. They have to really understand that so that they can accept and know that why you're gone is for a good reason. And it's not just because you wanted to fly a plane that happens to fly on weekends. It can be difficult, but most of the families that are in, in the RPA community have been able to weather it just fine. But like I said, it, it, takes that, uh, it, it takes that communication so that they understand, really understand what it is that you're doing and why you're doing it.